Hey, it's Chris. We're back in the office at All In Gym shooting some educational content. Today we want to go over specifically training for muscle growth. Not to get better at sports or something like that. This is typically just to get bigger, just to get your muscles to grow. Number one, we want to select exercises that target the muscle you're trying to grow. No duh, but it has to be said. If you want your biceps to grow, you need to do movements that only target the biceps and the bicep is the only thing moving the weight. We need to isolate. Reps should be in the six to 20 rep range. I know it's a big number and a big difference, but there's reasons for that. There's certain movements that it's like a compound movement. You're using multiple muscles. You're gonna go lower reps. You're gonna go heavy because you can really load it. And then there's gonna be isolation movements where you can safely do real, real high reps close to failure, like a tricep push down with a rope or something. So you're gonna to wanna to work in multiple rep ranges. It affects different muscle fibers differently, give you a more complete physique. All sets should be taken within two IRI, IR, can't talk today. That stands for reps in reserve. So it's a fancy way of saying you're getting close to failure, but not all the way to failure. So if I am supposed to do something for eight to 12 reps, if I could have got that set for more than 14 or 15 reps, that wasn't a working set. That's a warm up. I need to increase the weight and I need to find a weight that I can only do about two reps more than it's asking and that would be all my working sets. Volume should be eight or more sets per week based on recovery and progress. So when you're starting out someone, you might only have them doing about eight sets of biceps starting out. But as they do that workout for a while, if they can't keep progressing in weight, maybe we can add a set. Now if they stall on that, you can add another set, another set, and you're kind of only limited to what the person can recover from. As long as they can recover and come back and hit the workout again the next time they're supposed to, that's gonna dictate volume. If you wanna start low, get the most out of the least, and then work your way up as you hit sticking points. That's gonna do it for today's video. Next video, we're actually gonna show you a chest exercise that is based on muscle growth, so stay tuned. If you have any questions, hit us up on any form of social media. If you're local, stop in and see us and let's get better together.